you're being mugged again. You working class folk. You just get played time and time again by a demographic I make reference to as a fake liberal metropolitan elite. The two million pounds, the vast majority of the money is spent. I'm sure the front of house people, the cleaners, the box office staff, I'm sure they're all from Oldham. I'm sure they're local. But when you get to the serious roles and the productions and the alumni that they support, the associates, the artists that they bring in and pay, there's careers they cultivate. They're not our people. But we're paying for them. And now we're crying that they're shutting down what we don't even benefit from. Apart from the pantomime. This is one big pantomime, really, isn't it? This is one big pantomime. Let me uh, go and snort some stuff up my nose. <laughs> I couldn't believe when I got that sent yesterday. I don't think she's a well woman. So I'd leave her alone. Let me go and refill my drink. And one of the reasons I'm refilling my drink is because my house is cold. And the, one of the reasons I'm sniffing my nose all the time is because my flat is damp. There's nothing I can do about it. It's where I live. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what Amanda Chatterton and her regeneration team, Emma Barton, they did. Right, remember, the Arts Council said they want one of their key reservations was to do with the lack of progress on the Oldham Coliseum finding a new home. Well, the council had their chance again after another chance and another chance. And they blew it big time. Let me try and be a little bit fairer to these people. I brought up the Coliseum 2018-2019 annual report. You can see they're funded by the Arts Council. Lottery funded. Separate that. So it's Lottery funded, Arts Council funded, Greater Manchester Combined Authority and Oldham Council. 2018-2019. Full year. 72,000 people saw a, saw a show at the Coliseum. Thirty five thousand of those saw the pantomime, yeah. You see it now? Most successful pantomime ever. Thirty five thousand people saw Cinderella and their total viewing figures are seventy two. So nearly fifty percent of those who visit visit for the pantomime. Why is a theatre company that can hardly keep going doing national tours? Or playing at 12 venues across the country. How does that benefit ours in our town? We provided 160 hours of free research and development space for artists. And that's like something to be proud of. So that 160 hours will have been uh, double counted. So every artist is counted. Every artist, every hour every artist spends would be counted. What's that? Two weeks? Maybe? A week? We welcome two independent theatre companies as our first associate artists. So it's two, these two ladies, Fine Comb Theatre and Rogue Bones. They're not local. 30 young people took part in our training programme. 30. Worked with over 400 pupils from 15 schools. Something like 100 primary schools in Oldham. Supported three inter-school performances. So three afternoons. And say they went to 15 schools. They'll say they did. And the three, 18. 18 performances in total. They're working in Rochdale. You'll have to ask yourselves why 
36 play reading and writing sessions for adults. And they delivered over 100 sessions in community and youth settings across Greater Manchester. Apparently, 36,000 people from Oldham saw a show at the Coliseum. 36,000 people from Oldham saw a show at the Coliseum. I'd wager the vast majority of these 36,000 people who saw a show at the Coliseum did so here via the pantomime. I'd wager that. I'm sorry, it's not good. It's not good at all. What the council did was there was this levelling up money. Huge amount of money. And it was divvied up. You could apply by constituency. So as you know, Oldham actually has three constituencies. Failsworth forms into the Ashton one. So you lose that. But you've got Oldham West and Oldham East. Oldham West and Royton, Oldham East and Saddleworth, completely in the control of the council, this bid. What they decided to do was, as Oldham Council, they put a bid in for Oldham East and Saddleworth. And a bid in as part of Oldham West and Royton. And the Oldham East and Saddleworth bid appears to be this green economy thing. Apparently, Oldham is going to become carbon neutral by 2030. And we're all going to have these cycle lanes and the carbon business stuff, uh, business hub. And of course, Northern Roots. And the Oldham Western Royton bid was a, mainly around the town centre. And it included the Lyceum and a new home for the Colosseum. And also the library. This got funded, 20 million. This didn't. If you were to consult with Oldhamers, if you were to consult with Oldhamers, what formed this bid would have been, this bid here, would have been what resonated. They didn't consult with Oldhamers. Emma Barton and her team, Emma Barton and her team, decided to put in two bids and the South Manchester liberal, fake liberal elite are into all of this stuff because all of that stuff is to do with cycle lanes, walking, green technology, eco parks, glamping in Glodic, skinny dipping in the snipe and I'd wager that this bid had more effort put into it than what we as Oldhamers would have valued. This is what they've done. They knew, and if they didn't know, they should have known. If they didn't know, they should have known that there was no chance the government was going to fund two bids. What they should have done was consulted with the councillors, all 60 of them. Consulted with the community. And put one bid in. And that bid would have been the Coliseum, the Library, the Lyceum, the old Union Street Centre. And bring all of that back to life. The fake liberals... The South Manchester elite, those who have no connection to our town, prioritised glamping in Glodic and skinny dipping in the snipe. And Amanda Chadditon, Barbara Brownridge, Abdul Jabbar, 
and the cabinet, the rest of the cabinet, all signed it off. You're being played and you're being played and you're being played again. So, in keeping with what of these sessions are about, I'm disappointed last week that's only one person, I think, or two people put in a freedom of information request based upon last week. I think you might want to put some freedom of information requests in. And I'm trying to spoon feed less and less as every week goes by. So I'm going to give you some themes this week and I'll see what transpires at the other end. One of the themes I think you'd be interested in is how much year on year, on year over the last 10 years the council has funded the Colosseum. And based upon what we've seen from the webpage of the Colosseum, and the mindset of that organisation, I'd want to see year and year, not just what the council had funded the Coliseum, but I'd want to see the funding bids and the end of year reports. Because when you get funded by an organisation, you've got to put a proposal in with a breakdown of what you're going to spend the money on and an end of year report. And if the funder hasn't done that, if the council who's your funder hasn't done that, then they've just been giving your money away, haven't they? So I'd want to see a year and year breakdown of how much money the Coliseum has had and a breakdown of the proposal for that money, if there is one. If there isn't a budget of what they plan to spend it on and if there isn't, well, that tells its own story. And finally, an end of year report for each one. It's not unreasonable. It's common practice. It's basic, basic organisational requirements from a funder. That 3.1, 3.2 million pounds, I think it's reasonable to ask them for a breakdown of it. And I'd also want to see copies of the two bids that went in for the levelling up. One for the Oldham Eastern Saddleworth constituency to see what that bid was. These are public documents, by the way, so they've got to give you those bids. And they failed bid for Oldham West and Wrighton. If I was a councillor for Oldham West and Wrighton, I would be kicking and screaming in the Civic Centre. If I was a councillor for Oldham East and Roy uh, Oldham East and Saddleworth, I'd also be kicking and screaming, wanting to know why I was not consulted on a £20 million bid for skinny dipping and the snipe. But the councillors you have, it's not that they're powerless. They're just puppets. Willing puppets. Partners. In what is transpiring in this town. So please, let me see what you come up with your, your freedom of information requests. I always keep an eye on the page to see who submits what. But I'd be interested. I think I'd be interested. And when you speak with your friends and your networks, and the majority of this town have been brainwashed about the Colosseum, maybe put your hand on their arm and explain to them what is really going on. If you find value in these webinars, in these reflective exercises we do, then please consider supporting the channel and buying me a coffee. And there's much more, much more to come out of this. It's a con, isn't it? The Colosseum con. Do not fear them. Do not fear any of them.